the revitalization of the township economy is seen as a vital strategy to help curb South Africa's high unemployment and inequality levels. Yeah, while policymakers and large business are sharpening their understanding of township realities, young people in Daverton are also finding ways to create jobs. Newsroom Africa's Ndozo Kumalo has more. Davidson in the East Rand of Johannesburg is home to multiple actors, musicians, DJs and event brands. And 20 years later, it's still celebrated for its hit youth series, Yizo Yizo. Like many South African townships, Vuta also struggles with high unemployment rates. But this is not dampening the entrepreneurial spirit, with the youth refusing to remain idle. Bongani Dube, co-founder of the Purposeful Life Entrepreneurship Center in Davidson, says instead they are using their talents and skills to fill gaps in the markets within their own communities. We saw a need in the township where a lot of the youth are there, but they need guidance. A lot of them don't have money to go to universities. A lot of them not have money to go to colleges, um, yet they have entrepreneurial skill, yet they've got so much to offer. Brian Dubazana is a serial community entrepreneur who collaborates with other like-minded individuals in business. He recently launched the Davidson Heritage Bike Tour, an excursion that attracts both South Africans and foreign tourists. Cycling tours are good for health, cycling tours are good for history, cycling tours are good for everyone who loves to know about history and, 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 and the, the sustainability of the township. Remember, amateurs tours are important because talking about the history of a township, that on its own, it's, it's an economy. Dube says their entrepreneurship center is built for locals like Dubazana. We introduce um, an entrepreneurship uh, development course. Um, it's a month, you know, they just train the month, uh, but more practical where part of it, we, we, we visit uh, some of the businesses in Davidton. We visit some of the successful entrepreneurs within Davidton. Um, and then after a month of training in trust, then we mentor them. This is also important for those on the entrepreneurial journey to feed and raise their own families. It's been 10 years. Dube concludes that although the township economy is largely seen as informal, it is an important part of the national economy as it feeds into other large businesses and assists people to remain self-sustainable. There might not be um, a fact that uh, maybe within the economy of the country or operating, you know, within the environment, which is described as formal by, uh, by, 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 by the government. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of money within that economy, and that's the money that is pushing uh, growth, within families, that's the money that is feeding the community, that is the money that is preventing poverty. With unemployment currently sitting over 34% and more than half of the youth under the age of 35 without jobs, supporting young entrepreneurs in the township is essential, especially considering that the township economy is estimated to account for as much as 6% of GDP. Investec has also estimated that it accounts for about 17% of the country's total employment. Focusing on Gazi entrepreneurs puts the spotlight on how informality can activate businesses and local economic growth. And the entrepreneurs here are ready to engage with governments and big business alike to find sustainable solutions. For Newsroom Africa, Channel 405, I'm Torozo Kumalo in Davidson in the East Rand of Johannesburg.